Don't be the one to break my heart. I'm falling in love. I just always believed that something would just happen to me, but it just hasn't happened. Hello, you're watching Power Tell TV. I'm your host, Sasha Marina, and today I'll be interviewing the cast and crew of an independent feature film called Eat With Me. David, tell us why was this project so important to you? It's a film that I've been working on for the past 10 years. I made a short film maybe about 10 years ago called Fresh Strike Strawberries with Sharon and Ken Narasaki and also Teddy Chankover. They're all in the same short film. And we just sort of keep building the characters and plot lines. What I really want to tell the story was the story of Emma. In order to tell her story, I need a, a little bit more of a conflict. And I think that's how we have her husband. And that's why we also have Elliot, her gay son who, you know, came out a long time ago, but she has a hard time of dealing with this particular element of his life. I want to sort of explore that through her eyes. You know, she decided to leave her husband and then come to live with her son in the city. So she's sort of like coming off of her little bubble and then all of a sudden she experiences new different world. Sharon, the first time reading the script as an actress, what made you jump all over it? Well, the first time I read the script was actually for the short film and um, it was a 10 minute piece and I loved it because it had these really telling moments in it and they were the one scene that remained in the movie where her husband cuts the ring off and she's kind of dealing with that and then another scene where she's really disappointed in her life and she goes and eats a ton of ice cream. I just felt the story in those moments. Do you have a friend? You mean a boyfriend? Never mind. In the film, everything needed to be connected. And I think the biggest issue for me was kind of figuring out what Emma's relationship to her son was. So I, I did a lot of exploration on that. I uh, met with uh, the San Gabriel Valley chapter of PFLAG, and they were really open to me about what their experiences had been with their children coming out. And in every case, what I found was that these parents actually had a more profound connection with their kids after this process than they did before. And so it just kind of opened up this window to me. I mean, Elliot. Don't be the one to break my heart. Do you think he's promiscuous? No, do you? Fallen in love before, but never this hard. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to ask him. Joyce has questions for you. Food plays a major part in this film. Do you think that your film could overall be considered as food for the soul? I think food itself is, speaks to relationships and um, nostalgia and our connection to our identity. And I think this film in that way is talking about identity and talking about our relationships specifically with our parents. Um, and in that way, that's food for the soul. Did you ever go through anything of, of the sort, any moment in life that food kind of brought you together with someone? And it's funny because, you know, I don't have the best relationship with my mother and yet, um, you know, so we don't really talk very much, but we always find a way to eat together. And so, you know, when we've had tensions and we haven't talked for a while, she'll just call me and say, well, let's go eat. You know, you're really hard to please. That's not true. I'm very easygoing. David, as a filmmaker, what do you believe are the hardest challenges? Finding money to make a film is definitely the hardest thing. We did a Kickstarter campaign, which is, you know, we took half of our budget from there. We hope you love this story as much as we do. And thank you. Thank you. And also, you know, private funders who we have to reach out to a lot of different groups of people and communities and asking them to help us was a big thing. Why do you feel that this fundraiser was so successful? It was always part of our plan, mostly because not just to get the funding, but because we really wanted to reach out to an audience and build our audience. And so we felt like Kickstarter was a good way to get in front of people. What did you learn in that time frame of perhaps what not to do and what to do better for your next feature film as a producer? Communication, because that's one thing I learned was that we definitely need to be very, very, very transparent and also in a way over communicate. One thing to add is just like she really treats all of us, the entire production team, like amazingly. And um, just like tiny thing, well, it's not tiny, but she feeds us so well. The entire <laughs> shoot, you kind of work people for not a lot of money, and you better treat people right. You'll come over sometime. I'll make you a shishi drink. We'll discuss. I don't drink. Oh. I'm sorry. Sharon, 
your performance grips the audience. What would you recommend uh, or what would you say to an upcoming actor? I was talking to my daughter about this because she's getting into acting right now. And the really interesting thing about theater and being an actress is I don't know about everybody else, but I think I got into it because I was kind of shy and I wanted to experience something outside, you know, the parameters of what felt safe. But as I get older, what I realize is that the actual work of acting is really finding the truth and so in a way it's exactly the opposite it's exposing who you really are what's your problem i don't know i heard about those people on the news Wait, those people david what would be your advice for upcoming filmmakers i don't know if i'm qualified to give advice yet but i, I would say you know the most important thing is to sort of keep doing it and i think um, the more you do it, the better you get. To be a filmmaker, I think at this age, it's a good time for it. Also because you have such a strong social media now and, and technology, and it actually makes it very easier for you to reach your audience. David, I'd like to thank you so much for your time and for thank being you. on Power Tell TV with thank us. Thank you so and much. Sharon, thank you so much.